people have associated us with drug relief in various parts of the country. And as a result, we get messages on social, through social media, we get direct calls from residents, and in some cases, we even get calls from the municipalities to say, you know what, we have a problem, the water levels are low, we're not getting much water, we haven't had it for five days, we don't have it for two weeks, we haven't had it for one month. We send a team to analyze, check the situation, and when my teams came, they found the dam was empty. They found the bowls were running dry, although there was water, but not sufficient to supply the whole town. And then you find the, pre the, the, the disadvantaged communities who are on higher ground, they had more difficulty, although everybody has had the difficulty. And based on that, we've intervened in many towns in Eastern Cape as a result of, this, of the messages that we got. Uh, long ago, when this municipality was amalgamated in 2016, just after the elections when we were inaugurated, the first thing we had is to declare a drought. At the time, in Kravinet, the dam has still had some bit of water and we, we put in some restrictions uh, for the community, but it did not work. The drought continues and it continues since it's at this stage now. We need to teach our, our, our youngsters coming up to actually plan on their farms yes. and, 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 and to plan and start budgeting fodder. Yeah. Um, and then you can go that much further yeah. in a drought. Um, you know, and as I say, if, if we can get those things all, all in place, I think that, that the droughts will probably get a little bit easier to manage yeah, well, going we, forward. If you haven't learned from this, then it's the yes. best, bad news. Well, absolutely. Yeah. As I say, every bad experience should be a learning experience. Exactly. And, and if we can go forward with that, I think that's the right way. Then I think we're going to get somewhere. The drilling year today in Crafty Net is a continuation of what we started when we came in on the 1st of October. We promised the people we're bringing bottled water, water tankers, but more importantly, we're going to find water through bowls so we, because that is sustainable. We know that these communities are too far away from the water system from the lower part of the town and the water cannot pump up because there's not enough pressure. So I asked Dr. Kunawal, our hydrologist, to look at drilling bowls in this area. We've done seven bowls already. And this is one of our strong boreholes that's producing excellent water in the area. This process cannot be done without the support of South Africans. We really thank those farmers who generously gave fodder when they themselves don't know if they're going to need fodder next, given the scale of this drought. We thank them profusely. And any farmer or anyone in this country that can make fodder available to us, please, we appreciate it, we require that fodder. Please come forward, there's a big need. If anybody can provide us with trucks and fuel, it's very expensive to move that fodder and to, and to take it around. Also, anybody wants to donate bottled water, please come forward with bottled water. I'm going to make a special call. If there's any truck company that can sponsor us, trail, horse, horse and trailers, we will really appreciate it because we need many of those.